you join me in my side garden, and I have the beard with me today. Hello, I'm in his side garden. He's in my side garden. That's not some kind of prison lingo. I so, uh, I thought I'd ask the beard here today to talk to him about the upcoming release of Civilization VI, something I'm sure he's very excited about. Are you excited about the upcoming release? I am, yes. I believe it's coming out in October? Yes, 21st. Now the reason I specifically asked the Beard here to discuss this is the Beard is quite a Civilization fan. How many hours have you played in Civilization 5 now? 470 something ish. 470 something ish hours of Civ 5. That's quite impressive. And that's the first Civ you've ever played, is it? The not? only Civ I've ever played. The only Civ you've ever played. Now I've played since Civ 1 because I'm an old man. Uh, and I'm significantly younger than you. Significantly younger. Significantly. So, Civ 6, what are the exciting new features you're looking forward to in Civ 6? I haven't really released any new features, have they? Uh, it's going to be exactly the same as Civ 5, from what I've read. No, uh, the, um, the tech tree thing they've, they've been going on about, saying that you will only be able to research tech of which you can use at that time, going to make different playthroughs interesting. Mm. So, I won't just be able to play as Venice and research all the trade ones straight away so I can uh, really yes. rinse through the money. You do play as Venice rather a lot, don't you? So uh, what's your I, reason for yeah. playing as Venice rather a lot? Do you like just rolling your money and buying everything? Just like in real life. Just like in real life. But just like in real life, you can't own more than one city. Exactly. Ah, but you can puppet them. I don't puppet many cities though in real do life. Do you not puppet many cities no, in real life? No, I actually puppet the, uh, the district of Westbourne. Oh, that's, that's obviously missing out by not puppeting a lot of cities. I believe also cities are going to be somewhat different in uh, civilizations. Yeah, they're going to spread out, aren't they? They're going to take more they're than just, gonna spread more out. just the one tile. It's going to be very exciting. So they're going to be on. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Part of the neutral wall. Just off of that, but and that have you decided whether you're going to get the standard edition or the deluxe edition? I'm obviously going to get the deluxe edition, because even though I already own the soundtracks, I'm going to need to get the deluxe soundtrack with a more curated selection of the music. I'm presuming they're going to take it from all the games. Are you planning on pre-ordering? Uh, no. Of course not. I've already pre-ordered, of course, and the deluxe, because it's more expensive. Why wouldn't you pre-order it? Okay. Well, I, I pre-ordered Homefront the Revolution, which was supposed to be released yesterday according to Steam. But according to their website, it's not going to be released until the 20th. Okay, and today is the 18th. And so they rather dicked me there when I booked a day off the plate. Dicking. Did you manage to make good use of your day, nonetheless? I did get some good dicking. Um, so I went out on a to entertain a gentleman caller on a date. So something well. came out of it. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today about your excitement about I'm, Civilization VI. I'm glad you decided to cut this interview very short after I mentioned the good dicking. It's good. Good, good choice. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys.